What's up guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon video and today we are covering some very interesting information, interesting images for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that came, they'll come from the, well it's be download cards from Japan, so like just a card where you just like to download it on so you can buy it as a download card as opposed to buying it as a physical game. And there are some very interesting images on these cards, namely concerning Team Rocket. So, first up we have the two images of two Team Rocket members, one male and one female. Uh, obviously, yes, confirming they're in the game, if this is real, I, I guess this is real. Um, and the other thing to go along with that is this image here of the Team Rocket hideout, uh, which you can see as Team Rocket hideout by having the R logo on the front of it. Now, the interesting thing to point out here is the fact that the battle background, as well as the logo, is a rainbow colour. Uh, which is obviously, uh, we, we, we means we can refer to them as Rainbow Rockets. Um, now it's interesting that they have this rainbow colouring on both the background and the logo, which means it's not just, just for that, it's a new colouring for them, um, which is actually really interesting, and um, who knows exactly what it'll mean. But it links back to a leak, or to some form of leak, that was supposed to have came out on 4chan, classic 4chan, um, before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were even actually announced. Um, and this was a leak that the guy, when he actually mentioned USUM as the, as the sort of the logo or the, the um, acronym for the games, uh, he mentioned a few things like uh, new Prosma forms, so that's obviously come true now. And he also mentioned, I think, RR or something like that, which could be Rainbow Rocket. Now, there's a few other things in that, like, in that leak. I may go and cover that in a separate video, talking about the rest of the things that they were mentioning, uh, and whether those could actually be true. But for the moment, it, it seems to line up with this at least so far and there's nothing to have disproved it. That leak does also mention new alone forms uh, and stuff like that so maybe that will be the case but who knows. In terms of thinking about this for Team Rocket though and why they're in the game because we already have Team Skull as one legal team or one enemy team. We have a foundation as what would assume to be another enemy team uh, and we also have the Ultra Recon Squad which seems to be an enemy team at least for a certain part of the game. And then we have Team Rocket, a fourth team, and like that's 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 a lot. The most we have before is two in obviously Aqua and Magma or you know, Team Skull and their foundation. Which leads us to ask whether some of them are actually gonna be proper evil teams. So obviously in Sun and Moon, Team Skull were never really much of a threat. Yes, okay, they, they looted some Pokemon and that there, but really all they ended up doing was working for a foundation. And if Foundation was sort of a semi-bad guy, semi-good guy, it was just sort of yeah, it's half the organization was a living malicious, whereas the other were, were, were too bad. So we didn't really have a pure evil team. A Foundation's aim was not to, you know, destroy the world or anything like that, and neither was Team Skulls. Um, so we could link that over to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I assume a similar thing will happen. Oh, we can assume even more because it seems like Lucimine is a bit more sort of, you know, uh, unwilling in this instance. We'll obviously see when the games come out, but it seems that that's the case. In which case, obviously, if Team Skull again is working for a Foundation, but then Lucimine changes her mind, then you don't really have any proper evil team there. And then, thinking about the Ultra Recon Squad, as I said, they seem to be an enemy team at least for a certain amount of the game, but probably not for the whole game, because we sort of, we can assume that their aim at the beginning of the game is to get Cosmog, steal Cosmog, to get themselves a Sol Galea or Lunala to restore their light. However, eventually they'll explain their plight to you, I'm sure, and you'll come around and see their way of thinking, or you won't, but um, the other characters of the game will, and you'll follow their lead. Uh, in which case, maybe you'll team up with them, or maybe you know they'll help you along the way to defeat the Crosmo, and it ends up turning, yeah, ends turning up in Alola. So, they're not really a pure evil team either, so in this case, Team Rocket definitely could be, I suppose. Um, and it looks like, as well as that, looking at the image of the hideout, it looks like they're taking over the Air Foundation because the hideout is a very similar structure to the back building, let's say, of Air Foundation. So we could possibly think about it rather than uh, Air Foundation being a null and void enemy team. They could be, you know, being controlled from behind by Team Rocket, and maybe that would link in there. That's one possibility at least, uh, apart from you know, the Air Foundation. None of the locations in the game really fit that, unless you think of maybe somewhere in Poe Town, but the Foundation fits the best. So we can assume they've got some link to the Foundation, maybe they've taken over it, they're operating from the inside, but in which case, why would there be the, the, the logo on the front? That's a bit sort of on the nose. So maybe it's something that's revealed later on in the game, maybe it's just, um, maybe they take over the Foundation as part of the post game, there could be something like that, but their appearance on the sort of box art or the download code does indicate that maybe it's a main story plot. 
uh, and maybe they want to capture some Cosmo for their own or capture Sol Galea and Nunana for their own, something like that. We've never really seen Team Rocket do much apart from steal some you know, low level Pokemon in red, blue, yellow and fire and leaf green. All they did was steal low level Pokemon, take over Silvco, nothing too amazing there. They've never sort of gone after a legendary. Of course they have in the anime but not in the games. So maybe that would be where they come in this time and, and maybe get from there, who knows. As I mentioned, I will talk more about that link in a separate video, most likely to go over the other things that mentioned, uh, and maybe see if those could be true as well. Uh, but apart from that, the only thing to highlight on this download code, or these download codes, because there's two, uh, is one, that you see Hala facing off against UB Burst and UB Assembly, which indicates that those two Ultra Beasts will indeed be the ones attacking Melee Melee Island at some point, which I, I purported in a previous trailer video, uh, so that seems to confirm that, rather than Buzzwall and Ferramosa because of course just give the new new UBs some light. But let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of this. Do you think Rainbow Rocket is a thing? Or yeah, you know, I mean, I'm assuming this is legit because it's on Sarah Bain. It's been there for a few days now. Um, but what do you think of Team Rocket being in the games? Are you excited? Do you think it's just too much Gen 1 yet again? Too many Gen 1 level forms? Too much Gen 1 pandering? You know, let me know your views on that. Uh, and either way, let me know what part that you think they will play in the games. Will they be the the sort of the actual enemy team? Are they post game? Are they just something to you know trip you up along the way? Let me know down below in the comment section what you think. But that will be it for me for today. So I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.